This will be a video tutorial on how to set up an HTML project in VS Code. Let me jump over to VS Code here. Okay, I have VS Code opened up now. When you first open up VS Code, you're greeted with this welcome screen here. You can just go up to this X right up here and you can close that. To set up an HTML project in VS Code, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to go up to the File tab. I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to go down to where it says Open Folder. We're actually going to be creating a folder, but I'm going to click on Open Folder. Now the pane off to the left-hand side here, you want to uh, select the destination for your folder. I'm going to place mine on my desktop here. And then you want to, in, on the center pane here, you want to go to an area where there is nothing and you want to right click and then go down to new and straight over to folder. I'm going to click on folder. That just now created a folder. Now I'm going to name the folder. You can name the folder anything you like. I'm just going to name mine HTML project. Then I'm going to click on select folder. And I'm going to click on it again now. Select folder to select that folder. Now in the pane off to the left hand side you can see that I have my, uh, I'm inside of my HTML project folder. Now I'm going to create an HTML document. I'm going to click on this first icon right here. If you put your mouse cursor on it it says new file. I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to name my uh, HTML file. I'm just going to name it index.html. I'm going to hit enter and now off to the right here you can see that I'm, I, I'm on that HTML document here. I'm going to hit the uh, explanation point and then I'm going to click on this first uh, wrench here which has a single exclamation point. There is my HTML boilerplate right there. If you choose to uh, add a CSS file, I'm going to go to the pane on the left hand side here. Normally you would put your CSS file into a folder. So I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to go up to the second icon. If you put your mouse cursor over it, it says new folder. I'm going to click on it. Now I'm going to name my new, new folder. I'm just going to call it CSS, all lowercase. I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to click on this little arrow here, here to go inside of my CSS folder. And I'm going to click on the first icon, New File. Now I'm going to name my file style.css, all lowercase. I'm going to hit Enter. Now as you can see off to the right here, I'm inside of my style.css file but I'm going to click back on my index.html file. I'm going to click back on that. And down just below the uh, bottom meta tag, I'm going to put my cursor right at the end of that. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to type link. I'm going to click on this first wrench here, which is set, it just says link. Link rel equals style sheet, href equals double quotations. Between those two double quotations right there, I'm going to name my folder, which is CSS, all lowercase. Then I'm going to click the uh, backslash, and then I'm going to name my file. This is case sensitive. You want to name what you called your CSS file. I called mine style.css. If I could type, and now if you want to make sure this is properly set up, you just put your mouse cursor over that file name and above it you'll see follow link appear. I'm going to click on that follow link. It takes me to my CSS file. It is properly connected. Now if you choose to create a JavaScript file, normally you do it in the same way that you created the CSS file. You put the file in a folder we want to come out of that CSS folder. We don't want to put the folder inside of the CSS folder. 
So I'm going to click on this index.html file. I'm just going to single click on it to highlight it. I'm going to go up to the second icon, which is new folder. I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to name this folder JS, lowercase. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to click this little arrow next to JS to go inside of that folder. I'm going to go up to the new file, the first icon, which uh, if you put your mouse over it, it says uh, new file. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to type script.js. I'm going to hit enter and now I have created a JavaScript file. Now I need to connect my index.html file to my JavaScript file. I'm going to click back on the index.html. The way that you connect your JavaScript file to your HTML file, you want to put the JavaScript file just above your closing body tag. I'm going to put my mouse cursor between my opening and closing body tags. I'm going to hit enter three or four times. Now I'm going to place some script tags in here. VS Code automatically closes that. Now I'm going to put my mouse cursor just after the T on the opening script tag. I'm going to make a space. I'm going to type SRC. I'm going to hit int equals, double quotations, and between those double quotations, I'm going to type the name of my folder, forward slash, and then the name of my JavaScript file. I named my JavaScript file script.js. And that's it. Now when I put my mouse cursor over that uh, script.js file, I'll click on that follow link and it should take me right to my JavaScript file. I'm going to click on follow link. It takes me over to my JavaScript file. It is properly connected. I'm going to go back to my HTML file. Now the next thing you want to do is go up to the file tab, click on it. Then you want to go down to where it says save all. You want to save everything. Now on the, in the pane on the left hand side here, you can see I have my index.html file. I have my JavaScript file in a JS folder, and I have my CSS file in a CSS folder. That is how to set up an HTML project in VS Code. Thanks for watching.